What's up everybody? So Nick and I are about to head on the five hour drive to my family's cabin in West Virginia. Super pumped. My dad's been down there for the last couple days. He said he's gotten on some good signs. So hopefully we have some good setups going into tonight. And that obnoxious noise happens to be the man himself. What's up dog? Ready? Let's get it. Let's get it. All right, we'll see you when we get there.
I just kicked up a pile of dough and a few fawn. There was four or five dough, three fawn that were bedded down right over here by this uh, deadfall. This is right on the backside, backside of the apple orchard. Uh, it's a little bit thicker over here. So that's definitely where they're bedding. And, um, no bucks, but I'm debating whether or not I should move my saddle down over here or keep it where it is. It's so rocky. How'd it go? Oh, they had me cornered. Two dough? Yeah, uh, dough and a button buck. Yeah. Nice size dough. Prior to eight o'clock, I was just absolutely covered. Covered? I, mean, I was blanketed in deer. Even before light broke, I had two deer eating behind me. I know one was a buck because I heard it grunting all the way in. So I had my camera on it and it was just, it was pitch black. So I'm waiting for my camera lens to like get some light. As soon as I could like actually start to make out some landscape in my monitor. The first deer turned around and left, then the second one deer followed. I was like, what are you gonna do? I, I told myself, so I'm gonna sit till 10.30. And they hung around, hung around till 11. Then they started walking. It's like, okay, now I can get down. Then they both bedded down. And what I said to myself, I'll just get down and they'll be back. I mean, so I started packing up, I lowered my bow and the little button buck sees, sees the bow getting lowered. He gets up, starts pounding the ground. I. <laughs> You know, it never fails. The deer that you want to go away always stick around. And the deer that you want to stick around or come closer never come. Right. So, exactly. But good morning. All right, getting ready to head back out for our afternoon sit. Obviously, this morning's sit was great. Uh, had deer all around me all morning. Uh, so a very exciting hunt. It's one of those hunts that you really just don't want to... Uh, don't want to let it end so hopefully we can replicate that tonight have a couple of nice bucks running around so hopefully we can get on them overall temperatures are decent so looking forward to it we have another day and a half here so just looking to capitalize
that even though you're hunting private property, it doesn't mean that the deer aren't pressured. That tree stand that's 50 yards from my tree, the guy that just came up, he just came up to sit and hunt it for the night. So I had to give him a wave and wave them off, but you know, you're still competing even on private, so. Uh, unfortunately for me, he did not keep his voice down, so he talked at full volume um, as I just waved and just nodded my head. So uh, hopefully that didn't that didn't spook anything. If I don't see anything tonight, I'll blame it on that. Today's the day. I can feel it. Yeah. All charged up. All charged up. Ready to rock. Step one, get on deer. Step two, film deer. Yeah. You, you've hunted eight times and haven't seen a deer? Yeah, so many times. Mm -hmm. Put a lot of time and effort down that spot. Yeah. You ain't seen nothing down there. Uh -huh. Hey, don't you gotta give my permission to uh, film me? You get the uh, sign off waiver. It's called a model release form. So if it makes you feel any better, you'd be considered a model. I should be considered a model. I am a model. Did you know I uh, used to model toxins? No. Uh, I did. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. Let's not deal with some amateur actor here. I got it all You're together. You're big time. I got it all together. <laughs> uh, and no one's even going to see me. They're not going to know I'm here. It's kind of like my family. Like, I take a ton of pictures of my wife and daughters, but when my daughters get big, they're like, Daddy, where were you? Were it's you not, ever with us on these trips? There's not much to look at. Ouch. Yeah. Clothes aren't fully dried from yesterday. But uh, it's 5.15 a.m. right now, so cold front finally came in Saturday morning. The past two days has been in the upper 70s, so calling for some precipitation. Buckeyes play at noon today. We both said that we would love to be done. We we're tagged out at the same time. So I don't know. I've been holding out for a buck, but I I might shoot a doe if it comes in. It's it's really gonna depend. It's really gonna depend on how the morning goes. I'm gonna make this my lucky hat today. Gonna to christen it. Nope. It's not cold. I'm trippy. This is 60. That's not right. So I think that you can go ahead and throw that thermometer away. Yeah, you know, I think. All right. So morning of day three, I am going back over to the same area that I had my turkey sit earlier in the spring. Uh, there's some pretty fresh sign, a couple beds. Feeling good about getting in on that fresh sign. I know my dad has seen some pretty killer buck rubs over there. So hope is high for this spot. Nick is headed back over to where I sat up yesterday. Obviously, from what you saw, there's deer all over there. Cold front did come in overnight. Uh, I think right now my truck is reading 49. So again, all the conditions are there. Cards are out. Just gotta make sure we capitalize.
usually it breaks light around like 7, 10 here, but it's so overcast and actually the rain's starting to come in. So it really kept these woods pretty dark for a majority of the morning. The light started breaking to the point where I could see, I could see the silhouette of a deer in my monitor and my camera. I got to the point where it was within, well within 20 yards. So I got the camera out in front and I drew back. I, he stepped out from behind the tree. I needed him to take two more steps and I would draw him. For whatever reason, he turned and started going back up the mountainside. So now I have to let down my draw, readjust the camera. He ended up tailing away a little bit farther. It was probably about a, looking at it right now, probably about a 25 yard shot. I think it was a good hit. He hit, he gave the, the bull kick. He ran up around the mountainside, came back down the thick over here behind me. Again, I, I think it was a pretty good shot. So I'm gonna collect my things, go check my arrow for blood, and then I'm gonna get out of here. It is raining. So that's the only thing that makes me nervous. It's gonna be a heck of a time trying to find that blood trail. I just went to play back my uh, footage of the shot and realized my camera was not recording, uh, which is a huge bummer. Um, but it is what it is. I'm about to get down out of a tree. Uh, arrows right there. You can see the lighted knock and we'll go recover. And Adam just texted that he just got a buck. So it's a good day for Moxie. We're coming home with some meat. I just kicked up a doe right behind my stand as I was getting down. I didn't even see her. And there she goes. Well, it's raining really good. So I, I know that doe, I drilled it right in the shoulder. And uh, you could tell that it wasn't using that shoulder when it was trying to run. So 99% sure it just crashed over this ridge. But with the rain, I also don't want to lose the blood trail. There's the arrow. That's a good sign. All right, I'm just getting dumped on. So I'm gonna get back to the four room and get back to camp. Oh. 
that was a heck of a walk. I was only a quarter of the way walking up the hill and my Garmin beep saying I reached my steps for the day. Holy heck. <sighs> I gotta start working out more, I guess. It is really wet in the woods. <sighs> Pretty inclement weather. I'm no weatherman, but they didn't call for this this morning. <sighs> the only job in America where you can be wrong 95% of the time and no one cares. All right. What a hunt. What a weekend. Way to go. What's up? Oh Way yeah. To go. Drilled it. Did yep. you see him run up and fall? Yeah, watch this. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> And then I, oh, you oh, I forgot to track him with it. How far did he go? Uh, 80 yards and I heard him crash. Somebody. Yeah, so it started raining. I see this doe, this, this doe and fawn come up, and I'm like, all right, Buckeyes play, <laughs> and it's raining. <laughs> let's, let's get out of here. Let's get this done. Let's get it out of here. Good job, so buddy. Those Swacker 261s. Oh. The doe, I, it, the shoulder was gone. Oh, it, it just, just demolishes him. Been a little bit. Yeah, the rigor mortis is set in. Get some meat from her. Oh, yeah. Look at that shot, man. I don't think it gets any more perfect. So that's the entry. That's the entry. Came down. Yeah. Right through the heart, probably. Yeah. Good, because I tried angling it down to get underneath that the fawn that was standing next set. to her. Exit. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I've never seen a hole like that. I've never had a deer mule kick quite like this one did. I mean, it was like the picturesque, like, yeah. Up oh, yeah. And, knew. yeah. See, the thing about the swackers, they don't put a big entry hole, right? Because that's their thing, slice twice. So the first one. Going in, that's your that's your entry slice on the way in. As oh. soon as it, as soon as it enters, it the, it grabs oh. and opens up the second you. blade. Yeah. Oh, so okay. that's why you have exit wounds like that. Yeah, 
we have to get Don to try the heart. What do you think he'll say? I don't know. Is he adventurous? I think he'll try it and pretend to like it. Try. But like now in the future, every time we go to eat heart, he'll just hate us. <laughs> it's like how he views like scary. What is he? Scary movies. And one other thing where he just says, I just don't like it. Like, I just don't like scary movies. You know, you're scared snakes. of scary movies. Snakes. snakes. I just don't like snakes. A pleasure. Appreciate all the That's help. the hardest part about you guys coming down. I hate when you I know. It's sad. <laughs> Nobody time. wants to see us leave. Good time. But you guys I get it. There. So, just to wrap it up. Headed home to the Ohio rut now. Yeah, I'm excited. You guys got some work to do. Yeah, just had a couple big bucks show up on camera this week. Cold front's coming in. Um, but that's a wrap for, for West Virginia archery season. Uh, Adam and I both had success yesterday. That's important to remember about the area of West Virginia that we hunt is that they're, they're mountain deer. We had success and that's we had fun. That's yeah. the most important thing. I think our so. goal were big body deer and that's what we got. Now we switch gears and go back to the home state.